COVID has focused our minds. It's given us time to think. It's given us some peace. It's given us a chance to reappreciate how gorgeous this country is. And to make, a, in many cases, a very fixed determination to look after it. People want hope on the horizon. They want something to look forward to. They want to think about a better future for our country. They want to see a future for their children and grandchildren. In the farming community, they want to be able to see a future for their kids on the land in many cases. How do you create a regenerative agriculture and a regenerative economic model and a regenerative food system and shorten that supply chain so that we're better equipped for when the next pandemic hits or when COVID hits or when climate really starts to get disruptive? We don't just need 10 or 20 percent of farmers to come with us on this. We need 95 percent to see that for the good of the planet and for profit, for the health of our animals, for the good of our communities, that there is so many important reasons.